Good evening, this is Frank Estes here to present another original song by the No Counts, or the Unmanageables, whatever we are. This song is entitled Girlfriend Blues, written by David Faulkner. And it is about relationships and their difficulties at times, right? People can get on your nerves all day, nag you, get on your case. Um, so this song is written to a groove similar to Steamroller by James Taylor. It, it, and the only similarity is that it's the same speed and progression. You know, it's a 12-bar blues progression. I mean, how many millions and millions of songs uh, follow the 12-bar blues progression? But it's a slow blues song. It's unlike anything else we've done. And as I've told Dave, what separates the men from the boys in music is can you cover multiple genres? And clearly we have done that with this project. We have country, we have rock, we have pop, we have some pseudo jazz, we have some blues, we have something that's kind of like a pop, I don't know, and stuff we don't know what it is. Maybe it's just nostalgia. Um, so this one is Girlfriend Blues, and uh, and I have the privilege of playing on it, and uh, and you know with, with Dave's guidance, I knew to, what pace to set the song up and the progression. And so, but basically, when we got together, I already had the bass, drum machine, electric guitar in place, using my trusty Les Paul with a coarse effect Fender amp model, and then for the distortion, the PV5150 amp model. And these effects and amp models are on the Zoom G2, which also has the drum machine. And then the um, I use a knockoff precision bass, Fender precision bass, and plug it all into the Tascam, and. Uh, so uh, here it is, uh, Girlfriend Blues. In fact, it is so new. We haven't burned a CD, as I said. I've got to play it from the, the audio that I put on my phone. Here it is, Girlfriend Blues by David Faulkner. He owns the copyright. I'm your bicycle, baby. You've been riding me all day. to that walking base by a hat. Paper cut, 
Girlfriend Blues, written by David Faulkner. He owns the copyright. <laughs> <laughs>